Hello, N4H and H here. Uh, just a, a quick video here today with the FTDX 5000 from Yesu. But again, uh, this is one of the things you can do with any rig. What I'm going to show you, um, and this is for some of the new viewers who might not have picked up on some of this in some of the earlier videos. All right, so here's this gentleman here. The first thing I'm going to do, I want to show you. Well, they may have quit now. There's uh, some QR Mary, two kilohertz up. Yeah, he's got a lot of QSB and fading on him. Let me show you where he, where he is on the meter now. He has hit S7 at times. Well, I guess the QR Mary has stopped. I was listening to him a minute ago and there was QRM at 14.297. And what I did to combat it was put the DSP width at 1.8, less than 2 kilohertz, right? Shift at minus 200 because the um, I'm on the upper sideband. The interference, the sound that I was getting from the um, from the person on 14297 was that high pitch, almost metallic sound. So if, if you're getting that type of interference, you want to go negative with your shift. Uh, it reverses when you're doing lower sideband. But I'm on 20 meters, so um, that's. You, you go negative when it's a high pitch interference, you go positive when it's a low frequency interference. You know, the walk, walk, walk sound as opposed to the high pitch metallic sound. Uh, and then um, I just did a little icing on the cake with the Mew tuner or VRF, but honestly, I didn't even need that. Combinate, uh, I did go to IPO1, which cut out a lot of the background noise just made it more pleasant to listen to anyway and then the width and the shift took care of the uh, QR Mary hear all that that station is at 14.297 me go back uh, to using the RF amplifier so you can see he's about a 5.6 I was listening to the station down here on 14295. He's signed out now. But these two buttons right here. Most any radio today has this. The DSP width and shift. Now I am also using digital noise reduction because <laughs> why not? I mean, listen to all that drop out just with a setting of five and it'll go from one to 15. When you get much above nine, you start losing fidelity big time. Back around seven or eight, you'll start losing the highs. But sometimes that's necessary in order to pull out a weak station. But generally somewhere around four or five is very comfortable. But I was hearing this, that high pitched metallic sound. First thing I wanted to do, I knew that they were two kilohertz away, so I hit width and I come down any, you know, something below two, 2.1, 1.95. Well, as long as I can still understand the station I'm listening to, I, I'll go down to as low as 1.5. Now, you can hit the narrow mode on this FTDX 5000 and you can go all the way down to 200, but, you know, it's, you wouldn't be able to tell what they're saying at that tight of a of a, a bandwidth but so I leave it on um, you know normal not narrow and it can go down to 1.5 but honestly what I did in his case was uh, 1.65 or 1 1.8 either one of those really worked because then you supplement it with shift when he comes back in I'll uh, I'll show you what I mean there but that's why you weren't hearing all that earlier when I was listening on 295, or listening here on 295. And I guess whoever he's talking to is taking a while to flip it back to him. But what I did, let me, I'll just go ahead and engage him while we wait. 
So width 1.8, again, because I know he's two kilohertz away, and shift. Now, again, upper sideband, when the, it doesn't matter, whatever you're on, upper sideband, lower sideband, if the, if the interference is a high-pitched metallic sound, then you're going to go negative with your shift. If it's a lower honky sound, you're going to go positive with your shift. And that changes according to upper and lower sideband. But that's okay. Just remember it this way. You hear him there? When I go positive, it gets worse because that's a high pitch sound. So you want to go the other way. You want to go negative. If it's a low sound, you want to go positive. That's an easy way to remember how to work the shift. So... hear him now again I have the receiver narrowed as well if I use just shift it's gonna take a good bit of shift to deal with that oh, he quit talking okay so oh come on Talk, there he is See, I'm having to go to 400 and I'm still hearing him. And this is what I mean when I've talked about you, you use combinations. It's not one magic button. Width at 1.8. And now I've pretty much knocked him out with uh, negative 220 on the shift. And my guy that I'm listening to would still sound fine, as you heard earlier. I think I actually had it on 200 earlier. So just three features here from the DSP taking care of that. Let me undo. And he's not transmitting right now. This digital noise reduction, in particular the one here on the FTDX 5000, is the best I've ever uh, worked with. Now I understand Flex has one that's incredibly good too. I don't have personal experience with a Flex, so I can't say. I've just heard people say that. Um, but I've never seen one on any of the radios I've tested that matches the one here on the FTDX uh, 5000. And that even, that's even compared to other Yesus. Okay, so there he is back. And there he is gone. Okay, so just wanted you to understand, uh, you know, like, it doesn't have to be a Yesu. It doesn't have to be an FTDX 5000 or even any Yesu. It can be a Kenwood. It can be an Icom. It can be a Lenco. Use your DSP when you've got that situation and get up under a two kilohertz bandwidth and then use your shift control negative if the if the uh, interference is that metallic high pitch sound or positive if it's that low honky sound. Okay, I hope you found that uh, video informative and helpful. And uh, thank you again to anyone who is uh, visiting the channel. We welcome you to uh, subscribe, click the bell, you know the drill on all that. It helps us out to keep this uh, video content coming. And, of course, uh, Patreon, um, if you want to help contribute toward, uh, well, I can get some other things to t do tutorials on, other gear. Uh, but you can uh, help out through Patreon, and that is www.patreon, patreon.com slash n4hnh. Patreon W uh, www.patreon.com slash n4hnh 73 thanks a lot